Meantime, leaders in Montgomery County, Maryland, investigating multiple anti-Semitic incidents as well. In December, anti-Semitic graffiti was found on Walt Whitman High School's sign. And over the weekend, Montgomery County police say multiple anti-Semitic flyers were found on the front lawns of several homes in Kensington. This comes as MCPS's superintendent reported a fourth anti-Semitic incident in the district. Scott Broom talked to school district leaders about what needs to change. Montgomery County School Superintendent Manifa McKnight denounced the most recent anti-Semitic incidents in county schools and hate speech of any kind. It's again a very frustrating situation um, that we have to continue to combat as a community. Superintendent um, McKnight denounced hate speech as students at Churchill High School walked out as anti-Semitic incidents in a community are on the rise, according to school officials. Struck again, Tilden Middle School, where for the second time in less than a year, swastikas have been scrawled on desks. Principal Sapna Hakan sending home this letter announcing that police have been contacted, promising disciplinary action if the vandals are identified, and saying on Thursday, Holocaust survivor Josie Traum will be speaking at an assembly. Here's Superintendent McKnight. We've got to continue to ask the question, why is it happening? Our students come into our schools and we do all that we can and we'll continue to build community within those schools. But they're not in those schools 24 hours a day. There are conversations that have to happen at home. There are conversations that happen, have to happen in many other places that speak to the respect of difference and the acceptance of difference. Montgomery County school officials say three schools were affected by these incidents last week. They are Wooten High School, Tilden Middle, and Silver Creek Middle School. All the incidents were similar, involving swastikas being scratched or drawn onto desks or other surfaces. In Rockville, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.